Check out Charlie's new video. Oh, you know what we could do? Let's do this. Let's do a little multitasking. I'm going to play Nitro Racing and then watch Charlie's video on the side. Oh, he looks like a chat in this. What the fuck? The first video I made on you offended you to such a high degree that you have not stopped whining since. I don't know much about Sneeko. He just seems like he's in the group of Andrew Tate, and that's it. Just like a like a like a like a pale imitation of a failed product. But I do know from the few times that I've seen his Twitter because he talks shit with people. Every single tweet he'll have that has like a marginal amount of likes, right under it, it'll be like, "Check out Rumble." <laughs> the day after I posted my response, he went on stream and had a huge unhinged tantrum and meltdown about the whole thing, and then he sent some of his viewers over. So I was joking with them saying like, oh, you guys must have just stopped the cuties watch party over there at Sneeko's stream, right? Welcome cucks, that kind of shit. And it got really under his skin in a big way. So he started dancing around with a gun and threatening to come shoot me. So he kept saying, oh, you're in Tampa, right? I'll come see you, waving his gun around and dancing. You wanna watch my clips? Watch my clips. Watch my clips. You wanna, wa oh, you want me to watch your clips? Watch my clips. <laughs> These are the only clips I'm watching, you were? That's weird. That's a weird thing to do. That's not a clip, it's a magazine. What's the difference between a clip and a magazine? I would like to be gun educated. Clip is for Nerf guns? No way. And I'm sorry to be that guy, this is like the grammar police of guns, but he's a fucking imbecile. You absolute buffoon. What you have there is not clips. These are mags. Oh, damn. Um... That's a pencil. So we all have a little bit of heat at this fight. Anybody's game, motherfuckers. <laughs> Sometimes I forget he's a Florida man. Dummy, the same way that this is also a mag. They're all mags. Stop saying clips. You look fucking stupid here. I always forget he's a Florida man. You know, I just think sometimes he's like a guy who's like slightly scared of like flying or germs. But like he's a Florida man at his core. He's not to be trifled with. He lives in Florida willingly. You love to bitch about how everyone's canceling you. These soy boy NPC bots are all canceling you. It's all you do, like you treat- It feels like some people who get canceled, actually, like, if they're not getting canceled, they're not in the public conscious, so they need to be consistently getting canceled. And even if they're not getting canceled by, like, groups who are known for canceling, like, they'll pretend they're getting canceled. Because not getting canceled is not being talked about, and it's, like, losing relevancy. I also love that you treat this Discord server like it's your PR team, so you have them work on your responses on Twitter because you're not- I saw that. I saw that. That. this was sad quick i need a response go to memes at everyone and it was in response to destiny because he posted when i'm in a cucked competition and my opponent is sneeko that was sad that was sad to see not that i would hope for better but that's just tough the day i go to my discord to look for some insults for somebody back you leave that fucking discord chat i want you to know that is like full i'm giving you permission right now to leave never watch me again and to feel guilt-free about it you have no ability to banter you can't insult Salt anyone anytime you're pushed all you fall back on is one of three things soy boy bot or npc and that's it you never deviate from this path which is ironic because you're like literally a sheep you have three programmed responses okay. you're like the app i kind of hate the term soy boy like i understand why it exists but soy is actually one of the more nutritionally dense milk substitutes like if you said like almond milk boy i'd be like oh yeah that makes a lot of sense like that's just a milk replacement that resembles milk but actually has no nutritional value whatsoever but soy actually has like a pretty high amount of nutrition in it. You know, there's a decent amount of calories in soy compared to regular milk. In addition to a decent amount of protein compared to oat milk, which has like almost none. Boys built on soy will be a lot stronger than oat boys or almond boys. And and there's a lot of really strong people who are who are on vegan, vegetarian, or soy based diets. Some some pro athletes. It it it's it it turns out to be a feasible strategy. MMO. Soy has estrogen. Yeah, but like that. But it's such a a meaningless amount. Like you're not gonna grow tits if you eat fucking soy you're not you know what i mean you're not gonna have like a couple of a, a, a couple of fucking ounces of soy milk and then and then tits will pop out trust me if it were that easy you would not have readily accessible soy milk at a starbucks if it were that easy that just a little bit of soy milk gets you some tits then let me tell you 
That would be an underground black market with the trans community. And they would run that shit. They would become the mafia, okay? You would never see soy milk until you die. <laughs> if it was that easy, god damn. They'd be like, oh, fuck, that makes my life a whole lot easier. <laughs> it's actually such a W. I'll go ahead and briefly give you a previously on Dragon Ball Z lore recap to okay. bring you up to speed on the points I was making for why I think he is a pathetic piece of shit and his opinion holds no value in my eyes is because he publicly defends Cuties as one of his favorite movies. Cuties was a Netflix film. <laughs> no fucking normal human would have Cuties as their favorite movie. Like, if you maybe want to have the edgier take that, like, Cuties isn't as bad as the rap that it gets, and, like, it actually makes, like, a strong statement. It actually is, like, pretty well shot. Fine. But your favorite movie? Your favorite? You are just saying that to say that. You're saying that because nobody said that. It's like when Bo Burnham said clockwise vagina. You're just hoping that's a sentence nobody said before, and that has some value. Nobody's favorite favorite movie is cuties pretty well shot what do you mean i've never seen the film but i'm saying that if you were to take the angle of oh i actually think cuties has some positive attributes and it's overwhelmed by its negative press to actually recognize that i would be like all right i'll listen to the argument but if it's you're saying oh it's my favorite movie it's such a, an extreme that i think nobody thinks that i can't even engage in the in the con con conversation that used real child actresses in sexual situations so they sexualized real children. It was French people. <laughs> what are you gonna do with those fuckers? I, I saw the cover and it was, I got clickbaited. So did you, you got clickbaited. The thing about Cuties is it's not an unrealistic film. Clickbaited? So you're telling me you saw that picture and you're like, son of a bitch, they got me. I gotta watch this. <laughs> I gotta watch this. What do you mean click? But what about that picture baited you in? Son of a bitch. I thought this would be way different by the cover. It's actually trying to make a point. <laughs> Uh, another thing that I talked about for a reason I don't respect him is because he battles with his own sexuality. He is very public about how he used to go to these swinger parties. I think he says four in total over the course of like two weeks where he watched his girlfriend get fucked by other men even telling the story of how he was literally in the bed watching his girl get fucked by a different man moaning intensely and it it was traumatizing yet he recommends that everyone should try it at some point for some <laughs> reason because this was imagine see, imagine seeing the girl you love like get fucked get fucked you love her yeah i do i love her. yeah i love her i was about to say i love this bitch i'm like no nah, let me not say that i love my, my queen wifey, my queen and you allowed the love of your life to get, to get fucked get First time, as soon as I saw it, like three pumps in, I just got up and walked out. I'm just like, I can't, I can't do that. Like, feeling traumatic thoughts, like seeing her with another person. It, it's a lot, it's a lot. To, I th but I think it's something everybody should do just to test. No! I, no! You know what? So my point. No, 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 no. Everybody should try uni, sea urchin, okay? It's a little bit creamy. It, it can be honestly really disgusting if it's not fresh. But everybody should at one point try it because it's a delicious food and very rare. Everyone does not have to try watching their SO get uh, and get cucked. I don't think everyone has to try that. Everybody should probably try therapy. Something probably everyone should try. Like it, it could be helpful, you know? Like some things everyone should try. Other things it's like, nah, you probably don't need to try. You know, it's okay. It's okay to not try that. Why is this the guy that's lecturing everyone on their relationships, shitting on people's relationships when he himself is in one that makes him very upset and he can't come to terms with it? So did he get cucked multiple times? I don't know about this lore. I've seen uh, Sneeko cuck meme on Twitter, but I don't, I didn't, I don't, I don't know the story. If it happened multiple times, why was he like three pumps in? I had to walk out and then three days later, later we had to go back like what how did that happen that doesn't make sense and they're still together all i pointed out is i don't respect his opinion because he defends a movie i consider to be child porn i think any film or any production that has real children being sexualized should be classified as child porn that's how i view it maybe your definition is different but that's how i personally view that kind of content so him defending that was beyond reprehensible to me. Also just tough to take the other side, you know what I mean? Like the other, what is the other side? Like, uh, wait, hold on. I feel like we're being a little too strict on what and what isn't child porn. <laughs> That's not the side you want to be on. Well, hold the phone there, buster. I feel like we're jumping the gun on this one. <laughs> Maybe don't be too gung-ho about that. Holy shit, you pathetic, sensitive, soy little worm. I made fun of you for watching your girlfriend yeah, get- this is, this is what I keep seeing. Fight back and follow my rumble. <laughs> I think follow my rumble is so funny. Hey, 
like even if it wasn't Rumble and it was YouTube, it would still be kind of cringe. But I think I think Rumble Rumble just makes me chuckle. Rumble, holding on a Rumble. That's like what's Rumble exactly? It's basically the equivalent of being like, guys, buy Doge Golden Hands Diamond Hands. This year's our year. It's basically a competitor to YouTube, but it, it does not have a lot of legs. The whole pitch is like, hey, we will keep everyone that YouTube banned, which means like zero advertisers are coming to that website. When you are getting your feelings hurt and your immediate response isn't to fire back with insults, jokes, whatever, it's to challenge someone to a fight, you've taken a huge L. You've shown that the person has got under your skin and the only thing you can resort to is a caveman brain of, I'll beat you in a fight. Sneeko, you beating me in a fight doesn't unfuck your girlfriend from the numerous men that had sex with her in front of you. I do feel like there's a rabbit hole. I don't know if anyone else has noticed this, that a lot of influencers go down. Specifically influencers who partake in content that isn't like, like super cool. It's like usually lame shit. So like a good example is like Jake Paul, right? Like what they usually do is, is they hit a lot of level of success. And then I feel like, I feel like they hope that their success is what they can point to if anyone gets in a debate with them. And so it's like, it's like, I, I'm using Jake Paul as the example for this, but there's many other people. So it's like, uh, Jake, you're cringe. The videos you make suck. And it's like, uh, Lamau, I have fucking 30 million in my bank and I'm a famous YouTuber. Like, I feel like that's, that's like the counter, right? And then that, and then that goes on for a while, right? That's like kind of what Rice Gum did for a while. And then I feel like level two is like, okay, well, let me just become physically fit. Let me just put all of my stat points into fitness because then if anyone challenges me, the retort is no longer based around your success. But it's like, it's like, uh, it's like based around like, oh, I could beat you in a fight. Oh, bro, I could crush you in a fight. Oh, man, if we went one on one, I would beat your ass. I know you wouldn't say that to me. And I feel like the, the purpose of that is like, oh, nobody can talk shit on me because I'm physically superior. And then I feel like step three is enlightenment where it's like, oh, I don't have to have so much anger and hatred and be better than every other human. I can just enjoy my life. I'm spending too many resources focused on other people and less resources on myself. But that one takes a while to get to, I think. Step three is actually a gun. Okay, actually, that's fair. <laughs> step three is a gun. Maybe step four. Step four four we get there i feel like this is your worst take i really disagree i said that it was you have to fuck animals if you eat meat fuck. i don't know if i've ever seen charlie more mad in my life actually want to get hit in the head at a smash event i remember light lost it was probably loser semis and then he was on a phone call in the men's bathroom and i could just hear charlie on the other end on speakerphone and it said it was like you fucking idiot you fucking dumb shit you spam up smash, that's all you fucking do! Do you want to leave moist? And, uh, and he came out crying. Somebody chat went, that's super unprofessional. <laughs> that's actually not really appropriate ways to deal with esports players. They're not actually meant to be yelled at, so... Oof. <laughs> I understand you have a humiliation fetish, so hopefully this whole thing has helped you orgasm one more time from all of it. I, I, I don't think it's fun. D Damn. <laughs> Damn, that would hurt me. <laughs> I'm not a sneaker right now, but that would hurt me. <laughs>